we've all become more aware uh, during this crisis of how precious every human life is. And um, I know we all um, pay tribute to health professionals who've done all that they can to sustain human life. C could I seek from you an assurance that uh, the government has no intention of initiating uh, a review on the law <coughs> of assisted suicide, Lord Chancellor? Yes, well, I know this is an ongoing issue that uh, will uh, sometimes mean that parliamentarians have a debate upon it. I think the last vote on it was back in 2015 when the Commons yes. by a clear margin rejected legislation on uh, assisted uh, suicide or assisted dying. Um, it remains our view that any change to the law in this area is one for individual conscience and it's a matter for Parliament to decide rather than one either for government policy or indeed for the courts. And the courts have in their judgments regularly said this is a matter for Parliament to take into its hands and to determine. Now, I understand the reasons why many people feel that a change in the law is overdue. And they do so because they have care and they have compassion, particularly for those they've loved and lost. But I also understand that personally, I have some grave doubts about the efficacy of drafting a law that would prevent the sort of unintended consequences and abuses that none of us would want to see happen. That's my personal view. It's not government policy, because uh, it is for, I think, Parliament to make these decisions. So we don't currently have any plans to initiate uh, a review of the law in this area, or, or to indeed publish a call for evidence.